Hello guys, it's me the Rago and welcome to the first episode of my programming language tutorial about C sharp. Um we are starting with what is C sharp, what is Visual Studio, how do we set it up and we will create our first project, load our first project and yeah I'll, I'll show you some basic uh, things but let's get started first what is C sharp C sharp is a object oriented programming language designed and developed by Microsoft um, it's part of the .NET framework and it's similar to Java but yeah that should be enough for all C sharp, what it is and stuff. So, um, Visual Studio. Visual Studio is the official uh, IDE from Microsoft. Um, in the whole tutorial, I'll use, or in the whole series, I'll use Visual Studio 2013 Ultimate. Uh, you can download a 90 day trial version from visualstudio.com the link will be in the description um, but you can also use Visual Studio 2010 Express but important is here that you use Visual C Sharp 2010 Express not Visual C++ or Visual Basic or any other, because we are programming with, with C Sharp and we need to use C Sharp for that. But anyways, I'll use uh, Visual Studio 2013 Ultimate, and if you click on it, you can select the language, you can download it or install it now. Uh, I don't know exactly what the differences between these both is but as I installed it the first time I use download now so it will download you will start it and then it will download all the files from Microsoft servers from the internet uh, here you have additional language packs if you want to install more languages okay if you installed Visual Studio 2013 or Visual Studio 2010 correctly then you need to find it on your hard drive. Uh, there are two ways. You can search it on the uh, on your hard drive or you can search with this. Uh, Visual Studio 2013. I have it here. Um, I put it on my uh, quick start so I can start it better because I use it in about 70% of my time on the computer I program. So yeah we will start it and we will see this little window. Uh, if you start it the first time it will ask you or it will say about um, uh, be patient we are setting everything up and this can take a minute or something then it will uh, ask you to sign in uh, but you don't need to do that it will also ask you um, to select a color mode uh, in my case I use the dark theme. You can also use the light theme or the blue theme. I'll show you in a second. Yeah, you can use both of these, but I'll use the dark theme because dark is cool. Okay, uh, let's get started. We will create our first project. If you started it, you see this window. 
you can see here on my desktop. Um, we click on new project and then we can see this three tabs regent, installed and online. We click on installed, templates and then we can see Visual Basic, Visual C Sharp, Visual C++, Visual F Sharp and other project types. In this case we will use Visual C Sharp and it's enough to click on here. If you click um, the categories in Visual C Sharp we can select uh, different projects but here we can see all the projects. So the first project we will create is a simple console application and we will store it in the wait let's use browse um, we will create a new folder called YouTube tutorial yeah YouTube tutorial that's enough okay and we will name it as uh, episode 1 okay okay that's how we create our first project in Visual C Sharp um, if we close Visual Studio now and we open it again then we can load our project from here open project in my case that's um, prod server right now I'm in the folder but we can do it by this way or that's the easier way we can look to recent and select our episode 1 there we have also our program our project okay so first some things about C sharp uh, all you, what you can see here is program code uh, we start with this that's our the using directives um, using is used to import classes it's like the import uh, keyword in C++ so we say using system and that will import all classes that are in the system namespace for example the console class is in system if you look it up namespace system so if we remove that using system it says cannot find console but we have two ways if we set our cursor on it and we see this little uh, little thing down there we can click it and then we have using system or system.console using system will edit or system.console will uh, set the complete namespace that's also a way you can do it but we'll come to that later so first of all that's our the usings here you can see the namespace every program has a namespace a namespace is um, is like a folder in your program like I create a new folder I call it folder 1 for now and in this folder I will create a new class call it class1 and then you can see episode one dot new folder one this is our new cl our class1 is now in our namespace new folder one just some basic things we will you will use it that all later in the tutorial um, let's get uh, let's continue with class program if you create a new project uh, Visual Studio will always create a class called program.cs that's your main class 
and in there you can see a static void main string array rrgs. That is your main uh, point of your application. In there starts your application. Um, yeah, but I guess that should be enough for the first episode. In the next episode, we will um, we will teach you about, or I'll teach you something about classes and stuff like that, and we will write our first text in the console. Like if I start the project now as it is, you can see the console opens and closes because the program starts here and ends here, so it does nothing. It just starts and ends. So that's basically all. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah. Uh, let's see you guys in the next episode. See ya.